Welcome to another edition of Cooking with Bob. Today we're going to make an old classic from uh, back in the day. I used to have this when I was a little kid. My dad used to like it. Uh, my mom used to make it for us back in the 1970s. And I'm sure the recipe actually goes on back further than, you know, than that. So this, this recipe right here is called Husband's Delight. And if you see this recipe right here, it was it's a recipe that was fucking, uh, that was actually came from a small town mortician's wife and I'm not sure if she gave it the name husband's delight or if it was just normal naturally you know name that or whatever but that's what we're going to call it because we don't know it by any other name and shit like that and what it is is it's you know it's going to have some sour cream some tomato paste looks like a lot of tomato paste and we're, we're actually doubling the recipe so it's a little more than what you would normally see you got some Philadelphia original fucking cream cheese, a fucking onion, black pepper, that's what that is, salt, which is kosher salt, you got garlic salt, Worcestershire, which is, this is half of the Worcestershire that you're going to use, which is probably about two tablespoons, you got some wide egg noodles, and two packages of, um, of ground beef. So, it says, one pound of ground beef, we're going to use two. Two cans of tomato paste, you're going to use four. One quarter tablespoon of, uh, or teaspoon of garlic salt, we're going to use a half. One teaspoon of salt, I'm going to use two. One teaspoon of sugar, I'm going to use two. One teaspoon of pepper, you're going to use two. One teaspoon of Worcestershire, I'm going to use two. One small, one half small carton of sour cream, I'm going to use the whole carton. One eight ounce package of egg noodles, we're going to use we actually got um, 12 ounces, so it's a little less, but it's better with less noodles anyway. We got one th three ounce package of cream cheese, one onion finely chopped. So this is browned beef, drain off the fat, add tomato paste, seasonings, simmer for five, 15 minutes, blend sour cream with, uh, with cream cheese and uh, add an onion and uh, noodles. In a casserole dish, put one layer of noodles, then one layer of meat mixture. Repeat and top with cream cheese mixture. Bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So, actually, I'm the husband, and I'm going to be the one cooking this shit tonight, and I'm the, usually the one that don't cook it, but um, it's going to still be a delight because there's no way that you can fuck this up. It's really good. Mind you, the kind of like the old beef runny recipes you should get in this cool cafeteria that you fucking never got out of your head and shit. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead on. I'm going to take two old fucking cast iron skillets and I'm going to put some fucking ground beef in that motherfucker and fucking go ahead on and fry that fucking uh, the beef and shit. And uh, then we'll fucking uh, pick up from there. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead on and heat my pans up and shit. One thing you're going to learn, you never put fucking a hot fucking, uh, you never put anything fucking in a fucking cold cast iron pan. You're going to heat it up so that way it don't fucking stick. So go ahead on now and heat up the fucking cast iron pans and shit before we put our fucking, uh, before we put that burger in there. While I'm fucking waiting for the pans to heat up, I'm going to head on and open up the cans of fucking tomato paste, chop my onion up, and get everything prepared and shit. Okay, so now we've browned the, the two things of beef and shit like that. And this is what you're going to be doing. You're going to be sitting here reading it off the directions like I'm doing. I've never done this before. So I'm going to fucking, I'm going to see it says right here, brown beef, drain off fat, All right, add tomato paste and seasonings and simmer for 15 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead on and put my beef back in the pan like that. Yeah. I'm going to put my pepper, my sugar, right? Salt. Don't fucking matter. And then the big one, the sugar. The sugar. My. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And then one more. One more. Where the fuck is that shit at? Right there. <laughs> Where the fuck is it back up there? Shut up. I was cleaning. Alright, so. <laughs> one more Worcestershire. Okay, now, tomato paste. It says, drain fat, add tomato paste, seasonings, and seasonings, and simmer for 15 minutes, okay? I'm going to go down and put my tomato paste. That might take a couple of seconds to do that. The 
made a piece of stick. Don't always come out the can so easy and shit. But this is exactly, I'm doing this video like this so you can see the way it's going to look when you're doing it. Because you're going to be reading it off of a, um, a piece of paper that you've written it down on. Are you going to be reading it off of the phone, your phone or computer? And I'm trying to make it speedy, and nobody wants to watch a long, drawn out cooking video. You want to be able to fucking see how to make that shit, do it quick, and uh, and be done with it. See, so you can get to eat, so eat on it. All right. That's two. Remember, we're doubling, so that's why we're using four cans. All right. So now, I'm breaking a rule. Two rules with cast iron is you never boil water in it. And the second rule is you don't put tomatoes in your cast iron pan. And the reason why is because it breaks down your seasoning. So if you've got a cast iron pan, try not to do it like this. But I use only old cookware. And I got a new metal pan, which is what I should be cooking it in right now. So I'm probably going to go ahead on and transfer it into my metal pan. You just remember that. Don't ever, if you if you absolutely have to put tomatoes in your cast iron pan, then you need to wash it out. And uh, then then you want to fry some bacon in it the next day so that uh you, it doesn't break down that coating on your uh thing so we just got this pan this is a union tea company pan that was the first pan that was an advertising pan back anywhere from 1870 to 1905 and they said why do you have to go to the fucking butcher to get your meat and then go to the produce place to get your produce and then go to the other stores to get all your other bullshit. Why not put it all under one roof and we'll call it a, a grocery store? Okay, so that was the first grocery store. Do they still exist today? Yeah, but they're not grocery stores anymore. They're just some kind of a food wholesaler or whatever. And they've, they've, they've been through so many types of hardships and stuff that they barely exist anymore. So, in order not to break the fucking rule, we're going to go ahead on and put this shit... Put all this shit in a metal pan. Transfer it into a metal pan. Alright. I don't want to break up my seasoning in my pan. This pan right here that I'm scraping this shit out is from around the 1880s. It's my thicker cast iron pan. How do I know it's from the 1880s? It's got a gate mark. You know, anything before the fucking early 1800s. Would have had a little dot on the bottom of it. You know, you see that? That's from the 1700s. So, I'm going to go ahead on now. I'm just going to mix all this shit up. And we're going to simmer this motherfucker right here. Turn the oven back on and simmer it. So, while we got that going, it says, Add tomato paste and seasonings. Simmer for 15 minutes. Alexa, start a timer for 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Starting now. Alexa's useful most of the time, but sometimes she don't know what the fuck she's talking about. But today she's on time. So now we're going to blend their sour cream and their cream cheese, which already been done in this bowl right here. Right there, you're going to blend that shit together. And you're going to add your onions. And check this out. I so happened today to come across this. This is from the 1800s. It's a chopper. And boy, does it chop fucking onions fucking nice and thin. I also got these other two fucking old choppers. These ones, this one's really old and shit. But it don't fucking, I have a, I'm going to clean these up a little bit and everything before I chop anything with that. I like cooking with the old fucking school shit. So, I'm going to go ahead on and add my motherfucking onions. And of course, they ain't all going to fall in the fucking pan because I'm a sloppy bitch. But... Either way, you're going to get the job done. So I'm going to scrape all this shit in the fucking pan. And, uh, now, go ahead and stir that shit together. And I will assume that we're going to take 
these noodles that we fucking uh, made and mix that shit in this motherfucker too. Or am I supposed to do it in the big pan? Hmm? Do it in the... If you want to do it in the big pan, it doesn't matter. However, it's easier. And sometimes, a lot of times, I think it's better to go ahead on this thing big. Because okay, why are you going to fucking uh, confine yourself to fucking stirring okay. something up in a little pan when it's going to make shit difficult as a bitch to stir? That's fine. So you're going to go ahead on. And this is cream cheese and sour cream and, and onions. onions. Yep. Right? Yep. And egg noodles. That's right. Egg, egg noodles. It, it's Egg noodles. Yeah. <clears throat> I can't imagine right. how uh, egg noodles made. Does a chicken fucking lay egg noodles? Does it have Shut up. Hanging out of its chicken's ass? Okay. I don't know. Anyway, we'll go ahead on and stir this shit together. Careful, you don't break up your noodles. You fold it. Okay. Into it. I'm gonna fold it, motherfucker. All right. There you go. Okay. So now. And then you just set it aside and wait. That's right. We're gonna set this shit to the side. And, uh, you have to finish mixing your beef. That's right. I'm going to set that shit to the side. I'm going to fucking finish mixing my beef and all my fucking uh, shit together. And let that shit. This is actually my first time cooking in this pan. And it's steel. And you wouldn't think it, but these old these old um, steel pans that are not stainless steel, you can season them just the same way as you can a cast iron pan. Put a little bit of vegetable oil on it. Put it in the oven 375 degrees. Turn it upside down and let it sit in there for one hour. And then you cut your oven off. And after your oven is turned off, you let that shit fucking sit in there and cool down naturally. And uh, that's how you do that. So this shit looks thick as a bitch. Yep. That's what it's, yeah, it's supposed to be. I'm going to tell you what. I got a lot of recipes on my fucking uh, on my YouTube channel. And cooking on Bob, we make all kinds of shit, right? But if I had to say which one I fucking like the best, I get a hard on for this dish. This is some good shit. Mm -hmm. And we'll be honest with you, it will give you a hard on. Ew. Sh sh <laughs> That's why they call it husband's delight. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if you're a woman and you eat it, I don't know what it would do to you. Well, there you go. But. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to simmer this shit for 15 fucking minutes. That shit's all fucking mixed together. After 15 minutes, we're going to come back and we'll see what you got to do next and what the next step is on this. Small town, mortician's wife's early 1970s, late 1960s. Who the fuck ever knows how long ago fucking uh, husband's delight, whether she named it that or her husband delighted it, fucking whatever, fucking who knows. We'll be right back. Alright, it says now. Now we've been fucking simmering our shit for 15 minutes and we've got all our shit ready to go. Here. Sometimes you got to read between the lines. Because it says, in a casserole dish, put one layer of noodles and then a layer of the meat mixture and repeat and then top with the cream cheese mixture and bake at 350 for 30 minutes. So, But up here it says, blend sour cream with cream cheese, add onions and noodles. So... The sour cream mixture would be with the noodles and the onions and shit like that, but it doesn't tell you to hold some to the side. So you kind of got to, you know, you can look at this thing. It was typed with one of those old fucking typewriters, the manual typewriters over at the paper factory in the town where they, you know, where my mom worked at. She typed this shit on an index card, you see, and then they would keep these in little boxes. So... You know, with other recipes. But it says here, blunt time in the casserole dish. Put one layer of noodles and then layer of meat and repeat. Okay. Okay. So if I can I'm gonna put some fucking noodles in my casserole dish. All right. So we got a, we're going to put a layer. I'm going to set this off back here so you can actually see what we're doing. So a layer of noodles. Okay. A layer of noodles. 
and then it says, and then a layer of meat mixture and repeat. So what does that mean? That means layer noodles, meat, noodles, does that mean meat, put all the noodles, fucking meat. meat. No, it doesn't look like No, that mean. noodles and meat, noodles and meat until you're okay. done, depending on the size of the dish. So you're looking at this shit. Look how thick that motherfucker is, right? Yeah, you have to spread it out in little spoons. I guess it's only going to be like two layers of fucking meat, so we'll do it in fucking halves. Yeah. Halves that all right? Mm -hmm. So, I'm going to go ahead on down and just kind of spread that shit out. Shit looks kind of crazy. Some of it's almost like making it, a, a crazy lasagna or some shit. <clears throat> I would have preferred to have a little bit more meat. But. Well, you like it when it's done. So yeah, just go like ahead. And... So I'm guessing that's enough meat. Yeah, that's enough. You need enough for your next layer. Okay, now another layer of fucking noodles. Remember, keep some... Well, no, I guess not. Just dump them in there. That's right. That's good one. Oh, fucking... If you pay for it, you might as well fucking use it all. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. All right. Let's go ahead on it. Smoosh that <clears throat> shit out like that. There you go. You're layering that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, man, but if you fucking... I can't even fucking explain it, but if you fucking eat this, it's the only way that, that you're going to fucking understand the goodness of this motherfucker. All right? Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead on and put the rest of my meat. Spread that shit out. <clears throat> That's some thick shit because of that tomato paste. Now, spread that shit out like that. Okay. Now, now I'm gonna fucking go ahead on the what the recipe didn't really explain. If you can take that shit off to the side for I know. Was it she going to take that fucking... So I actually had to make this a little more. I know. All right. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead on and just put this cream cheese mixture on top. Yeah, cream, cream cheese mixture. It don't look like a lot, so I don't think you're going to have to... Just it. spread it careful. I don't think I'm going to have to put a whole lot on top. It. No. Just a snake. And again, if thinner. you're the husband, you shouldn't be the one in the kitchen making this shit. If, it, if it's husband's delight that the wife makes this for the husband to delight him. So. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I'm fucking, uh, I'm the, tonight I'm delighting in myself. Well, some right. men have to. That's right. It's like if you don't got a woman, you got to satisfy yourself. Lord. Okay. But if you got a wife, there you go. She should do it for you. There you go. Look at that pretty motherfucker there. That piece of meat on the side. I bet. Ew. Now Ew. it says bake at 350 degrees for 30 minutes. So right. we're going to go ahead on and put this in the fucking oven. Let's hold it up and look at the layers. You can't tell nothing like that. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bake this for 350 degrees for uh, 30 minutes. For 30 minutes. And then we'll fucking, uh, we'll continue the video and see how that shit looks. All right, now we done cooked our shit in the oven for the directed time to 25 minutes of shit at 350. It's, this is what it's going to come out the oven looking like. We'll go ahead on and just fucking take a spatula. Right, go down around that motherfucker. Get you a nice big old square piece of this shit. And pull that motherfucker out and sit it on the plate like that. All right, let's take a little look at what it's going, what it shit looks like. Look like a fucking lasagna kind of, but it ain't. It's unlike any lasagna you ever fucking had. It's his husband's delight. So if you like this fucking video, man, if you could fucking taste that shit, God Almighty, it's not like real cheesy. Like if you put shredded cheese on that bitch or nothing like that. 
But if you would have fucking, uh, if you would have fucking tried this shit, you'd fucking definitely fucking like to eat this shit. And, uh, take it from a fucking, from a fat motherfucker like me that likes to eat. God damn it. Mmm. Damn, I feel delighted as a motherfucker. So, you know, it, it falls right in his name as if I'm a delighted husband. So, if you like that recipe and, uh, and you make it, make a comment and fucking tell me what you think about it and shit and tell me how good it is. I was like the best shit you ever fucking ate in your life. And, uh, and watch my other videos too because we got a whole lot of other fucking shit we're cooking with Bob. Actually, I'm gonna fucking make some garlic bread. And make it and put this shit on some fucking garlic bread and shit like that. And sprinkle garlic on that motherfucker. Make me a husband of light sandwich and shit. So subscribe to Get Go TV. Watch the rest of our video. Share this fucking video on Facebook and shit. So I can get some more subscribers. So they don't demonetize my shit on the 20th of February. And uh, and y'all have a good day now. I can't fucking talk to you no more. Because I'm so fucking delighted. I need to go eat this shit. Have a good one.